So what's going on Toxic Gamers and Call of Duty Refugees? We gotta talk about what the hell just happened! What is going on in Call of Duty? Like the video if you love your mama, like the video if you love God. Let's go for three or I should say four likes on the video because you guys know they took four years and uh, four thousand deaths to make that a hey, fairly You guys know what happened right but we gotta talk about this one immediately guys and yes we are under emo blame trotaragans yes this is a crazy part and guys i need to confess here i know sadly i've been liking black ops 6 more. personally i've been liking and i know i'm fully aware that liking black ops 6 is like reheating mcdonald's fries everybody know mcdonald's bad but guys it's a uh, damn man it, it's been kind of tough but guys it's been kind of tough so i've been enjoying but let's actually get down to this one i think this one is gonna be uh one of those moments right so shout out to the homie blame truth let's get down to it let me know your review in the in the comment section but wait and for it guys i went into black ops 6 today with, with a positive attitude because in yesterday's video despite it being negative i did have some good things to say i think the gunplay in this feels good i, I really like how it feels when you shoot people Dare I say, it's one of the best no. feeling Call of Duties, like the actual gunplay. What? Say this is fake video. This gotta be a fake Blame Truth video. Bro, I was here to get my fix, man. Damn. You liking the game too? Nah, bro. Say you swear to God, bro. And all that, it's one of the best feeling Call of Duties possibly but, ever. I'm not even but, just saying that. I think this game's gunplay is phenomenal. The, the best feeling Treyarch game, at least. And I, I do like the movement. Uh, it's still a little slippery. I think the slide, again, needs to be toned down. And I think that some things need to be ironed out as far as animation smoothness and just general fluid. Uh, I, I have to say, yeah, guys, uh, sadly, I'm liking the game. And damn, I, I don't know, guys. Like, I'm like this kid right now. Damn, I kind of like it. I, 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 damn, I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. But, 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 blame, truth, bro. You were like the guy that we all looked up to, right? Like, damn, what the hell happened here? What is going on here? Say psych. Is concerned, but overall, it is Say a psych. decent thing in the game right now. On top of that, from the brief <laughs> time I played the game today, I, I didn't really have any connection issues. Packet burst was really only at the start of the match. So hopefully that's ironed out. I, I would love if that was ironed out. Say psych right now, bro. Say psych right now, Habibi. Say psych, man. That's one of the biggest problems with the entire franchise is Packet Burst. Uh, I don't really notice it any of this game. It may have happened this particular match, but I, I didn't really notice it in any of my matches. But then again, I was so goddamn fucking pissed that maybe it did happen and I just didn't see it. I'll have to check the recordings. But We're anyway, there. I digress. This particular match on Vorkuta or whatever, it was a funny moment. You may have, may have seen it already. I'm holding that head glitch spot and I go to flank the enemy team and then I realize that... Okay, cut to the chase. I think we're getting there. I think he's gonna lash out any any moment, any minute now. I think he's gonna lash out. But, but like, cut to the chase, brother. Cut to the chase. It's not a flank at all. I am just at their C flag. Okay. Straight up, I am just at their C flag. Straight I up. thought this map played pretty poorly in that there wasn't really any flow, but the more I played after this particular match, this was my first match on of the, of the day of the session, the, the, the more I played after, the more I realized that this is literally one of the better maps in the entire game. All right. Guys, okay. Okay. I, I noticed this during the beta, and I kind of noticed this before the full release of the game when they were going over oh, the match, wow. but I swear to fucking... God, right now. Mm, there we this go, is the worst set of maps I have ever seen in a first-person shooter game. In the comment section. Yo, uh, honestly, honestly, I'm hearing a lot of people say that the the game feels like it's good. Like for the first time, we have a decent game. Decent. And yes, man, I I can I cannot believe it. I really cannot believe it because zombies, bro. It's for me at least. It's disappointment. Disappointing. Why? Because I played all the good zombies back in the days. Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3 zombies, Black Ops 1 zombies. Shout out to the homie for subscribing. Appreciate it, guys. I also have a second channel. Wait for it. Uh, if you guys are into UFOs, conspiracies, and all that, definitely check out the second channel. I think you guys are really going to love this channel, especially at nighttime. Like, these are the videos that are going to get you thinking. Definitely check it out. Also, follow over on the Instagram. Links are always in the comments. I right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. But, zombies-wise, I, I think the reason is because... I played the good zombies back in the days, and it ain't that. It's better than Black Ops Cold War. I would say, like, yeah, it, Black, it's Black Ops Cold War 2.0, zombies-wise. Maybe even multiplayer-wise as well, right? I, I did enjoy multiplayer in Black Ops Cold War. Zombies for Black Ops Cold War was, like, mixed 
kind of i didn't like anything about it other than its gameplay i love black ops cold war zombies gameplay i said that previously as well but this time i mean call of duty gameplay has always been good though right it's always smooth it's smooth it's smooth right nobody's gonna necessarily complain about it I i'm hearing people say it feels clunky though to me I, I like the gameplay, but the maps I'm hearing the most about that the maps are not good for multiplayer. I I don't have I haven't had much time with it, so I I, I don't know I can I cannot judge the maps this early. But yeah, right. Maps has been an issue for a minute now for Call of Duty. I feel right like. now. Can I get a fucking amen? Oh, but BT, the data shows that uh, the fan base loves every map being uh, like shipment. Shut the. I, I prefer smaller maps personally, but uh, but these maps kind of small. But these maps are kind of different, though. I don't know, man. They are they're small, kind of different. They're kind of weird, man. Like damn, man. What, what's Fuck going on? Fuck up man? and go play shipment. Then, if yeah. I wanted to play shipment, I would play the damn. seven different. Variants in Modern Warfare 3. I don't want to play Shipment. I have played Nuketown since 20 goddamn 10. I've been playing Nuketown longer than most of the co Yeah, honestly, bro. Honestly, I am kind of excited for Nuketown. <laughs> I'm kind of excited, excited for Nuketown because every time I go on Black Ops Cold War, that's the only map I'm playing on because I don't know, man. Like, Call of Duty don't make the, the same maps no more, man. Call of Duty, I, I, or I should say, Call of Duty makes the same garbage maps over and over. And Nuketown is like a diamond, right? Diamond of a map. I know. Wow. 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 Right? How many times can we play on the same map? I know, but it's... Yeah, bro. I, 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 I accepted defeat in terms of Call of Duty ever becoming the way it used to be. We're never going to have Black Ops 2 like Call of Duty ever again. We're never going to have the original Modern Warfare 2 like ever again i mean you guys know what happened in the latest modern warfare 2 modern warfare 2022 Frank, you know? yes we had microtransactions of bbc bundles man the bbc listen man you guys know this i'm brown right so i also have a bbc i i, I do have a bbc okay i do have a bbc all right so yes but but damn bro i don't want to see that I don't want to see that thing jumping out and Nero Cinema was like hey bro things need to jump out he said that I swear to god we, we covered that news uh, the other day he was uh, Nero Cinema was talking about hey things needs to be flashy they need to jump out right they need to jump out now say if I can uh, play that clip uh, in the next video I would or in this video let me find it Call of Duty player base has been alive. I am sick of it. How about... Uh, I'm feeling way too lazy right now. I'm, I'm gonna bring it up next time, guys, in the Bruh. next video. Just good maps, regardless of size. It can be done. It can be done. Overgrown from Call of Duty 4 is a big map that is good. Can we maybe go back to that? How about just mid-sized maps? I'll never get sick of Raid or Slums, which is mid to small, but still, that, I consider that's a, a middle-sized map. Middle-of-the-road size map. Standoff. We got grid from black ops one we got wmd from black ops one how about just good uh, honestly bro it, the maps that he mentioned are all like very very good and, and to be quite real with you i didn't even thought about those maps being small big or medium i just thought about those maps being playable and fun and good i didn't even give a damn about whether those maps are big or not those maps were good call of duty don't make the same maps no more man you know what I'm saying? Like, or I should say, they make the same maps uh, all the time, which are trash. Mid size maps, you make a couple, three, four, by the end of the game's life cycle, maps for the, for the brain rot TikTok kids to spawn, die, and grind their fucking camos and call it a day. Why is every map in this fucking game the size of a postage stamp? I have never played. Uh, but for me personally, I mean, that's his opinion, that's his opinion. That's kind of valid, okay? That's, 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 that's kind of valid, but. Uh, for me, I would say that I rather these maps than Modern Warfare 2019 maps camping friendly, right? Like where they promoted camping big time. Oh, we need, we need corners, we need doors, we need uh, safe spaces. You know, I, I rather these maps without safe spaces than those Modern Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 2022, uh, you know, BBC friendly maps, right? And crap like that, bro. <laughs> I rather the uh, guys let's actually settle this real quick okay stud muffins we gotta have an emergency meeting immediately okay everybody gather around real quick one in the comments if you would camping friendly maps bbc friendly maps for modern warfare 19 modern warfare 2022 two in the comments if you would i guess black ops 6 maps 
both of them are trash all right but one is more than the other is what i'm trying to say guys like listen man it'll be what it be bro let me know where you guys at me it on such absolute direct and this isn't direct like infinity war direct this isn't like modern warfare 2019 where yeah the maps suck and yeah they're terrible and yeah they're filled with doors but the difference between that game and this game is at least that game had fucking routes there was some amount of thought put into your actions as a player in that game regardless if that thought was like you know two plus two equals four regardless of that it was still a thought the, the, the map still had flanks the maps had safe spaces yes but the maps were maps this game's maps are so fucking abysmally bad that everyone that had a hand in making these atrocities should be fired and should <laughs> never work on a first person shooter again and i am i'm sorry if that's harsh i am sorry if that's mean but these maps are truthfully abysmal i had to go into private match which they messed up by the way you can't just go into tranquilo papi tranquilo tranquilo papi Que pasa? Que pasa? Why you mad? Why you? Why you loco? Why you go loco right now, brother? See no, no see, no see. Just tranquilo, papi. Private match and like check out the maps. There's no bots that I saw to, to turn on. And if you you know start a private match by yourself, the game ends because the enemies are forfeiting in 20 seconds. But that still doesn't really matter because you can check out pretty much every map in its entirety in that time. I I'm not kidding. One of the dumbest maps I have ever seen in Low Town. I went to Bruh. check that one out in private match because I didn't get it in an actual Yo. match made game. Yo. It is like shipment with 30 different lines of sight that's been flooded. I, I didn't play it in an actual multiplayer. I played on that map twice. I, I don't I, I don't know how to feel about it. I, yeah, I don't know how to feel about it. I, I guess the only good thing about that map is that that map is not like a, hey, friendly. You know, you cannot call in a friendly. I mean, you call in a friendly UAV online and you know where everybody's at. So that's a W. But that map is small. So it's not BBC friendly because for a BBC friendly map, you need like a bigger map, right? And listen, I have a, I have a BBC too. But like, I, I prefer these smaller maps though. I don't know, man. I prefer these smaller maps, man. Player match. But God knows I played enough of Babylon and Payback. These maps for fucking ants. I played enough of those to know straight up that, that there's there's no redeeming this game. Oh, and I played another match on Scud. Scud! What in the fuck is a Scud? It sounds like a different word Chill. for turd. Shit. Chill. BC. Chill. Crap. Poop. Like, why I is this in the game? It chill. is in, like... It is an atrocity! It is an atrocity! You will spawn and literally get shot Chill. from like four different directions! Chill, what brother. in the fuck were they thinking? Tranquilo. So we are going to transition here. Not the 2024 transition, but the transition to gameplay. I want you to tell me what the underlying issue is. I'm going to explain the... Oh, I thought he was, he meant transition as in he's going to now join the sisterhood, right? Like, I am going to be strong and independent. Oh, thank God, man. Thank God. I'll stop love. Love, I'll stop for the love, bro. Outward, obvious issues here, like me spawning into this guy's you know line of sight within three seconds upon entry to the match. And it's going to happen again after I die. And then, I mean, you're, I'm going to point out the, you know, the time it takes to get into an actual gunfight from spawn. Okay. Again, spawn... Just look at the sky for some stuff to shoot down. Don't see anything. Yeah. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Spawn again. Instantly. Just running into enemies. I'm getting shot in the back. I'm getting shot from the front. Dead. I spawn again. I shoot this guy in the side instantly. Like within one or two seconds out of spawn. I am in a Yeah, this game is made for the TikTok brains. It is being made for the TikTok brains. And I don't consume TikTok. But uh, every time I game, for example, Call of Duty, I, I, I'll i be honest, I'll be blunt with you, I cannot play Call of Duty. For me, the game is like, yeah, right? Like, I can never play Call of Duty if I'm just playing with headset on, listening to the Call of Duty game sound and playing. I can never, ever do that. The way I have been enjoying Black Ops 6 or the way I enjoy FPS games nowadays is if I have YouTube videos running in the background, I'm listening to podcasts, so I get to learn something from a podcast, and then at the same time, I'm playing call of duty 2 that uh, that's why that's why i'm enjoying it i and this is not anything to do with black ops 6 i'm probably enjoying the podcast more let's be real but i have been enjoying my time with uh, playing black ops 6 and also listening to podcasts like i uh, yeah i'm watching youtube videos in the background that's how i've been playing let me know like if you've been playing uh, black ops 6 like that or 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 normally do you play games like that where you listen to listen to youtube videos or podcasts in the background because i can never I, I don't i don't think i can ever play call of duty with game sound on because it's just so boring it 
Yeah, that's basically where I'm at right now. Guys, okay? I'm pushing 30 right now, man. I played Call of Duty for a decade. Plus, my first Call of Duty was Black Ops 1. Came out all the way back in 2010. So, it's been 14 years, damn it. And I've played every Call of Duty after that. Except for Modern Warfare 3 that came out y last year. And what I'm hearing from some people, Modern Warfare 3 was way better, way ahead of Black Ops 6. If that's true, that is crazy. The reason I didn't buy that game was because, bro, like, that was supposed to be a DLC and they they were charging way too much for that. That was just not for me, okay? And uh, that game was trash in the beginning, but I'm hearing that it's actually good. I don't know, though. I don't know. I did not play, so I'm not gonna talk about it. For me, it was not for me, so I didn't buy it. But I played every single Call of Duty ever since I got hooked on Black Ops 1 back in the days. But after Modern Warfare 19, I started to slow my rules. I wouldn't play Call of Duty every day, or sometimes I would go months. I remember, like, like for a year straight i didn't play uh call of duty so i guess it's multitude of things but sadly guys i'm enjoying call of duty right now sadly I damn i kind of don't know damn i kind of don't know yeah i'm like that kid right now i don't know engagement Why? now that's the obvious flaw here right i've been playing first person shooters for for over two decades at this point oh there we go so he's saying basically i just said it too <laughs> okay you guys heard my rant let's hear the brother's rant here we all learning and growing guys we're all getting over therapy here we're all trying to get uh, our fix here so yeah let's hear our brother out man we all in the same boat brothers we all in the same boat okay man. here is the issue with this this philosophy, this design philosophy uh -oh. with the maps and with just the overall spawn logic, the SBMM, what have you. Yeah. This game is going to be unplayable if you are either of these things. A, a solo player. B, a player who is at least decent at this game. If you are either of these things, go ahead and refund the game right now and thank me later. I'm serious. You are going to regret not refunding this game because this design philosophy where, where you just spawn die spawn die spawn die again it's just that shipment kind of philosophy this philosophy on quote unquote regular maps is going to make every map campy as shit and you might be saying like what that doesn't make sense bt Camping? guys let yeah. me explain something to you why nah. would i spawn and actually try to move in this game why would i spawn and actually try to move seriously I spawn, I move, I run into an enemy instantly. Why not just spawn ADS to a to a you know sight line with my flank covered at the back of the map? Because there are no flanks. I mean, when I say flank covered, I mean there are no fucking flanks. Why not just spawn ADS on a head glitch and rack up some kills? I had my most success in this game by actually not moving. But let me just backtrack a little bit where I said like this game's gonna be unplayable if you are a solo player. This match is a match I joined in progress. Look at this score. This match is unwinnable. Now, some of you maybe don't care about the wins in this game, and you just you're just there to yeah. grind camos or whatever. Guys, I have been grinding. No, no, I don't even care about grinding camos. To be to be fair, though, I'm just like running around, just getting kills. That said, and playing playing the objective here and there. I don't care about winning the objective. Just try, just play the game. Uh, basically. I, I always have been a hardcore Call of Duty player, but over the years after so many bad Call of Duty releases, I find myself becoming a Call of Duty casual. Full disclosure. So, yeah, I think that's probably my reason for why I might be enjoying because I, I gave up on Call of Duty now. Wait, to be fair, though, I gave up. I don't give a damn about it. I just play it and now uh, I'm playing it and I'm, li and I'm enjoying my time with it. Simple as that. You know, that's where I'm at with it. Call of Duty camos since Call of Duty 4. I have no passion for that anymore. I do it in X Defiant, but it just kind of happens, you know, and it's like whatever. And there's no SBMM as well, so I can just use whatever I want, regardless of how good it is or how meta it is or whatever. But in this game, I cannot. There's skill based match. He's gonna glaze X Defiant. Matchmaking. So this game, at this point, may as well not even have wins and losses. I mean, hey, look at this. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, Diddy, Diddy. Oh, yo, that's Diddy, though. That's Diddy, yo, P. Diddy, yo. Damn, what Diddy doing in Call of Duty, though? What P. Diddy doing, though? This, this is such a one-sided match, and I constantly, constantly joined matches in progress. More and more people are quitting, like, than ever before. There is no chance whatsoever for me to do well or win in this particular lobby. I'm just thrown into it immediately after this game on Vorkuta, which I've been showing you, and it's just SBMM tuned up to an entirely new level. Oh man, so I've been enjoying the game. Now I feel like that I'm gonna start to hate it though. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he's, he's gonna make me hate by... Oh, 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 he's gonna... Yo, man. Oh man, come on. But, but not nah, honestly, bro. 
So far for me, I think skill-based matchmaking hasn't been bad. If it turns out that it's crazy bad, then I think, yes, even I'm gonna be like him, right? And I get it, it's all subjective right now with Call of Duty. Especially with the algorithm, the, 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 the skill-based matchmaking, the fake algorithm, or the manipulative-ass art algorithm that they have installed in the game. It's all... That, yeah, it dictates your experience. If you're, I think, if you're having a good experience with Call of Duty, it's probably because skill based matchmaking is easy on you, right? The algorithm is easy on you. If you're hating the game, 9 out of 10 times is because you're running into cheaters or skill based matchmaking. And then, yes, like the maps being bad, hey, same, same game every year, same game, it's like reheating McDonald's fries over and over. Yeah, guys, I just got McDonald's fries, bussin'. Let me reheat it. Let me reheat it in uh, microwave, right? So yeah, there's uh, there's that aspect to it as well. But generally speaking, it's skill based matchmaking, man. You know what I'm saying? Like if skill based matchmaking is easy, you're gonna enjoy the game, bro. Once people actually kind of learn the maps, learn the meta, learn the movement or lack thereof, I am telling you right now, this will be the campiest Call of Duty of all time. This hope is going for, to be worse not, than Infinity not. Ward's Call of Duty because yes, while you- Hope not, man. So far, I'm not finding campers and that's why I'm liking the game, I guess. But if it turns out that it's campers heaven, bro, then yeah, man. At that point, bro, like, what the can hell, move man? about. Yes, while there is a lot of fast movement and you can traverse the map in, like, record time with how small these maps are. Yeah, yes, yeah. that's all true. You're going to just run to a head glitch and, and camp there. Whichever team runs the head glitches and gets to the middle part of the map and shuts down the entire fucking map and starts spawn killing is going to win every fucking engagement. Like, straight mm. up. There are no flanks, essentially. Vorkuta here is one of the better maps in the game, which is odd to say because it still kind of sucks. Honestly, it's like just big enough to where you don't really get spawn killed, at least I didn't in this match, but then again, my team was halfway decent. Of course, I get punished the five matches after this because I did halfway decent and I won a match. SBMM is, it's going to be like peanut butter and jelly. Skill-based matchmaking, along with these atrociously bad maps, is going to make this game literally unplayable. Mm. You are going to match up against full squads because there's no real protection with that if you're just one or two people, you know, casually searching for a match. Yeah, yeah. There, there's no protection yeah, against yeah. a full squad just locking down the entire map pool i mean none of these maps are that big and the mid-sized ones are really really bad as well i played on red card absolutely terrible vorkuda here again one of the better maps in the game i'd still consider it pretty fucking bad you know for the most part like there's just no flow you run to a head glitch and you sit this game is going to be a disaster this year guys i, I didn't want and, and i cannot wait for the videos man i cannot wait for it I think, yes, I love this time of the era, man, or this time of the year, I should say, like, uh, people are mad, people are loving it, people are mad, there are YouTube videos to consume as well, right? New Call of Duty, right? Who gives a crap? Uh, and then you got people, like, shitting on the game, and it it's enjoyable experience, for sure. And then, you know, the devs gonna cuck you as well, so Activision's gonna cuck you. Enjoyable experience, for sure. But guys, recently, Dr. Disrespect came out, and we have a new update on the story. This one is insane. This is a latest update, okay? So you probably heard of the story, but this one is new. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.